Oh, good morning, Facebook and YouTube. Welcome to day 21 of Rise Up. We did it. You did it. I'm proud of you. Thank you for participating in these last three weeks. But I actually want you to look at this not as an ending. I want you to look at this as the first day of the rest of your life. An opportunity to be more positive, more focused on hope, more set by the things of the mind of, of the mind of Christ that we have than ever before. So this is a launching point for the rest of your life, not the conclusion of something over 21 days. This positivity declaration says this, I will rejoice always, keep praying, and be thankful in every circumstance. It comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18. And I like a lot how the this is stated here. So I will rejoice always, I will keep praying, and be thankful. All of these verbs here are active and constant. So again, no matter what circumstance comes our way, we are going to choose with the help of the Lord to rejoice always, to keep praying always, and to be thankful always in every circumstance. And really that's what the prayer focus is today is just to give thanks. Uh, and it says here, take time this last day to praise the Lord and to thank him for his faithfulness to us. We can trust that he has heard our prayers and will respond. And uh, there's several verses there. I'll just read a little bit out of Psalm 66. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. And then Psalm 146, I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. And it goes on to say, don't put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirits depart, they will return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. But blessed are those whose help is the whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. And that second prayer point says, "Ask the Lord to help you keep speaking and thinking words of life, sharing His love and truth with those around you." From James one, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. And then it goes on to talk about being blessed if they do what they're seeing in Scripture. So that's what we want to do is just thank God uh, for his faithfulness. And again, we talked about this. I believe it was a day that Sharice joined me. We talked about limiting the media. And if you did a great job in these first 21 days of really just watching your intake of social media, watching your intake of uh, different news apps or even watching the news, Yes, this is election day, but I would encourage you to limit it now. Listen, the amount of media that you take in today is not going to change the election. So you might as well guard your heart and save yourself maybe some heartburn or, or a headache and just control how much you watch and control uh, just how much you're taking in. No matter what, tomorrow and into these next few days, you will see uh, both sides uh, of the picture on social media saying, you know, that this is the best candidate ever and this is the worst candidate ever for whoever wins. So again, just limit that stuff. Be wise of how you do it. So let's just go to prayer here. Father, we do thank you for these last three weeks. We do thank you for your faithfulness. And we put our trust in you that you have and our and are changing our lives in the ways of how we think, how we act, what thought process and what words come out of our mouth. Father, we thank you that you have heard our cries, that you have heard our prayers. And Father, your word says again that when we pray something according to your word, we can be confident that we have what we ask for because we know that you heard us. So we thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do in our lives, in our church, and in our nation, God. And God, we, we do admit to you that we only see things in part, but you see things from the whole picture. So we declare your faithfulness today. Even when we see things happening that we don't like or come into a situation that might be painful or hurtful, God, we declare that God is faithful. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You will always be by our side to get us through every circumstance and situation, Lord. And Father, now we do pray. We declare that today is the first day of the rest of our life. 
with a positive mindset and a positive attitude and positive words. We pray that only by your grace we can continue speaking life and not death, that we speak hope, that we speak love, that we speak truth and justice and mercy into people's lives that desperately need it. Let us be that beacon of light to those who are experiencing darkness. Let us not be phased, not be broken or shaken by the things that are happening in our nation, but let us have our feet set upon the rock of ages, knowing that we'll be stable in your kingdom. Father, again, we just thank you. I, I, God, I ask that you would bless each person here that has taken time throughout these 21 days to spend time uh, with us on Facebook or YouTube, God, whether it was live or whether it was watching an archive, God. I pray that you'd bless them, encourage them, build them up in these days to come again so we could be light and salt of the earth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, again, thank you for joining us. We hope that you'd have a great day and we will see you in the next few days. God bless you.